I'm increasingly more often being asked, Admir, are you a YouTuber now? Well, given that our channel is subscribed by over 110,000 people and my videos are viewed by thousands of people each time we release them, I guess I meet the definition of a YouTuber. Moreover, in making Asura's videos, there is a well-structured process that includes research, content creation, video work, video editing, post-production, and a number of our folks invest their creative energy full-time into a global Nysoras educational mission. Do you make money on YouTube? Well, if I did this for money, it would not make any sense financially. I'd make a lot more money working in McDonald's after the work in the clinic. Why do you make YouTube videos then? Well, YouTube really democratizes education. Our channel allows us to spread knowledge and promote better clinical practice worldwide free of charge as we reach far more healthcare professionals than any physical meeting. And the videos on the channel have enduring value for years to come and it allows us to create our own community. How do you support the team working on the channel then? Well, we support the channel through subscriptions at Nysora's No Black app and the Compendium of Regional Anesthesia. But in this video, I will introduce a new section on Nysora's YouTube channel with unplugged style members exclusive clinical content. In the trailer, you will see the snippets on how to get the most out of pink blocks, how to prevent catheter failures, tips to musculocutaneous and superficial peroneal nerve blocks and more. And if you like what you see in the upcoming trailer, I invite you to become the member supporter of our channel and gain access to one-on-one -on -one education with Dr. Hatzik, available only to members. These videos with clinical tips and tricks from clinical practice will help you quickly improve your own regional anesthesia skills. And your subscription of only $6 a month will help us deliver free education on YouTube for everyone until end of time. And now, buckle up and let's see the trailer. Pain block or hip block and you can see the distribution of the local anesthetic there. You can see oftentimes that even the tendon of the iliosos muscle will be slightly lifted with the local anesthetic injection which is a sure sign that you're injecting in the proper tissue plane. I'll distribute underneath the sos muscle. There we go. In this video, we're going to see how catheters that are placed in the perineural space tend to breathe or easily can be dislodged from their therapeutic position. This is why you always should place catheter three to five centimeters deeper than just a catheter tip in a therapeutic position. Let's watch this video. Here's an example how a simple breathing will let the catheter move in and out. There we go. Yes. Yes. In this video, we're going to review a standardized technique that will get you the views of the superficial peroneal nerve each and every time. Yeah, there you go. Tibia, good, you roll laterally. Good, fine, the fibula ridge, there it is. And then we fall up to where the nerve is. There you go. Perfect. Advance a bit more. See the difference here versus the difference here. Pop in, yes. And one more time, pop in, yes. Okay, so we're going to do musculocutaneous nerve now, which maybe one is there. Let's see the brachial plexus really quick, how it relates to brachial plexus. Plus the brachial plexus there, we already blocked it. Okay, so we can go. The maneuver is go slightly up, press, 
in this total this total this this is this total right in this video we're going to see how you can preload the catheter into the continuous neural block needle to make it much easier to insert 10 centimeters now mm -hmm. what you have to make sure is that you pull back the catheter into the injection chamber because as long as the catheter is inside the needle you actually cannot inject so, so that the membrane closes and when the membrane closes the catheter is then inhaled in place the skin glue is not used to glue the catheter rather the skin glue is simply used to obstruct the entrance of the catheter in this video we're going to describe a standard technique for axillary brachioplexia we are always discussing the strategy in that that is the artery there is somewhere around in this sheath this nerve would be outside of the brachioplexia sheath which requires another specific injection between the biceps and the coracobrachialis tendon you go, I'm sorry, break your plexus, so you can see the advancement of the needle. Through the break your plexus, yes, in between the artery and the radial nerve now. Advance, pop into the sheath. In this video, we're going to see one of the most common mistakes that practitioners do when performing a femoral nerve block. Your nerve is to the left. That's your nerve right here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do another and it appears to be a, a nerve. However, the fascia iliaca is here, and it's not there. Therefore, likely this will be the nerve. Infraclavicular brachial plexus is a useful block that you can do when other approaches are not available. We see the hand movement if it occurs during nerve stimulation, and that's the anatomy. So what we're looking for is a triangle here, where these are the ribs, and this is the chest cavity here. That will be your lateral cord, that will be your posterior cord, and that will be your medial cord. That. Yes. Good. And balance. Now you can redirect your needle. Yes. Good. Very good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. The only time when we're going to do another injection medial to the artery is when this spread does not appear to be spreading around the axillary artery adequately. In this video we're going to see the technique to the femoral triangle block. Dermis, so you need yeah. to go through the skin first okay, and then focus on directing the needle. Yes. Okay. Now you need to apply some compression on the transducer, and here we can see do compression, no compression. And injection of the local anesthetic into the fascia plane to block what is left from the femoral nerve, which is typically saphenous nerve and the branches of either obturator or a branch to the vastus medialis. As you can see, these are just amazingly practical insiders' clinical tips. And if you like what you just saw, you can get a lot more by supporting Nysora's channel and its free education by becoming a member here. As a member, you will gain access to weekly new teaching videos one-on-one -on -one with me with techniques from Nysora's practice and become a regional anesthesia star in no time. To become a member, go to Nysora's YouTube channel, find the membership tab, click join and follow the instructions. Your support will go a long way to democratize education worldwide. See you in the members community.